it is true, it is very true, that there is consensus, particularly given where renewable energy costs have come down to, that there is a compelling value proposition to serve a certain segment of our energy needs in the country uh, with renewable energy. I think there is consensus, there is an understanding of that. There is more confidence uh, that is being gained around that. Uh, what I think everybody is concerned about and everybody obviously talks about and leads to these kind of questions is that we are all frustrated by the fact that the deployment has not started. I'm from the private sector, time is money, I want this to start tomorrow uh, for sure. But at the same time, I think from a national perspective, macroeconomic perspective, I think it's very important to make sure that it, it's, it's better to start when, you are, when you've got all the ducks lined up and that you are in a good position or you're well positioned to capture the full value. And if you're gonna take time to do that, it's better to take that time rather than start, stop, change course, uh, like some countries have done. There's lots of experience. We're very fortunate. We are one of the later comers into the renewable energy spec arena. So I think it is right that we take the time in order to learn, understand, and be correctly positioned and put in place the correct policies and procedures in order to maximize the value we are going to create out of deployment than just be there to just supply uh, a bunch of uh, megawatts as renewable energy. The, the mere act of implementing projects, uh, bringing technology, uh, installing it, uh, it, is all valuable opportunity for the kingdom to tap into, particularly at the scale at which the kingdom will uh, ultimately deploy renewable energy. I think these are wonderful opportunities for us to uh, uh, really uh, take value for uh, economic development, create a new industrial platform. Uh, so I think you know it's all taking a little bit of time, but uh, the compelling value proposition becomes more compelling. Um, and again, the low oil prices uh, are a fantastic uh, news for this as well, uh, counterintuitive maybe. Uh, very simply, it's because so the kingdom now recognizes even more uh, the need to uh, be more efficient in everything it does. So that means reduce the subsidy bill, which means uh, given that renewable energy is more cost competitive compared to fossil fuel based for that segment, if we were able to start delivering that renewable energy, it's recognized now that the subsidy bill itself will start to diminish. So that's good news. Uh, and also the kingdom will be able to uh, open up or uh, make available more oil to dispatch to the market and therefore at this low oil price environment continue to generate uh, more revenue uh, in terms of dollars uh, to itself. So whichever way you look at it, low oil, oil prices are also driving us uh, towards um, a sort of reasonable, uh, reasonably soon renewable energy deployment.